Okay, all hands on deck. The chapter is out. It is Saturday, not Sunday, which is good for me. So, hello there. I'm Pirate Style Jutsu. How are you doing on this lovely day? And we're going to get into my live reaction now for chapter 969 of One Piece. And uh, I can't really see the title because it just there's no cover page, apparently. It's just... Oh. Wait a minute. What? Tra okay, there's okay. This is obviously this is a scanlation, but there's something something. I don't know what language this is. It's a trench, <laughs> trenche le mal Odin. That's, I don't know if that's like Spanish or French or something. I don't know, but that's a little weird. But uh, yeah, you got uh, Odin crashing in on Orochi, and uh, the rest looks like English. So I guess we can keep going here but uh okay so Orochi's crashing I mean Odin's crashing in on Orochi Orochi's scared uh wait wait Odin stop and then he's th uh they're thinking back to um Lady Toki stop Odin if you get angry over something trivial like this the enemy will only Orochi <laughs> so, yeah who will save our Shogun Orochi. Yeah! So, oh, it looks like he actually... Okay, so... Uh, okay, so Odin's looking... I mean, Orochi's looking really scared. And we see that, that old guy playing the the, um, the Shamisen who we saw when we see the old lady with the Mane Mane no Mi. Um, like his, you know, the, the lady who gave Orochi the plan or whatever. You know, the granny. Like, we see the old man who is in her little shack, he, he's playing the shamisen again. And, uh, we see somebody's got their fingers crossed. Oh, no, it's, okay, it's the, it's the guy. The guy, oh, the guy playing the shamisen has his fingers crossed. He's, whoa! Some, something's happening here. So he's, the guy, the guy is playing with his fingers crossed, and then, oh, I guess that's, like, Odin's, Odin's slashing, it's like a huge, like, in, like I guess he always oh, it looks like he slashes away from Orochi. Like he like Oh <laughs> Oh Oh my god He has the body body no me The old man He has the barrier fruit the Bartolomeo's devil fruit That's he has his fingers crossed Oh my god Oh, I love that. I love that, Oda. I love when Oda... Re oh, he, first, it was the Mane Mane no Mi. Um, for, with the old lady. And her assistant, the old guy, he has the Body Body no Mi. The barrier fruit. So he's protecting Orochi with this barrier. Oh, my God. You see the bubble. You see the, this bubble around. He <laughs> He's just playing the champs. He's like... Bring, bring. And he, his eyes are closed, he's not even looking, he just crosses his fingers. I should have known as soon as he crossed his fingers, like, that's that's the barrier. <laughs> but yeah, he crosses his fingers, he's still playing the Shamson, and the barrier just forms around Orochi and deflects Odin's slash, and the slash, like, destroys the whole wall as it's deflected over to the, like, to the right. And Orochi's just, ha, ha, and then Odin's like, what? What is this thing? It's just, we see that, that familiar barrier. We all know what that is. So yeah, Rochi's just freaking out. Is this glass? No. Come out, Orochi. Hi. <laughs> so the B, oh, oh okay. It was a, I was wondering if he was playing a Shamisen or a Biwa, but yeah, apparently it is a Biwa. Biwa Priest. Kurozumi Semimaru. That's the old man. Okay, the old man's name is Kurozumi Benimaru. Or Semimaru. So he's in the or he's in the he's in the Kurozumi clan. Okay, let me read his his dialogue first. There's no need to worry, Lord Orochi. Have faith in my body body technique. Wow. Okay, there's a there's a translation though, but unfortunately it's in Spanish, so I can't read it. But uh yeah. This is, he's clearly, he's got the Barry Barry no me. So this is the, the, possibly the user before Bartolomeo. But, uh, yeah, so he's protecting, uh, Rochi. 
Uh, because this barrier won't allow anyone to come closer. Your strength won't help you, Odin. <laughs> Rochi's just crying still. Oh, there's a granny, there's an old lady behind him. Kill, 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 kill. That's right. As a pirate, you should know about the abnormal power of devil fruits. Old hag Kurozumi Higarashi. Okay. All right. So, so she, so they're all in the Kurozumi clan. They're, they're all. So all three of them are in the Kurozumi clan. Orochi, the old lady, and the old man. And so maybe they might be husband and wife. I think maybe the old man, the old lady. They might be. So either one of them, one of them probably married into the Kurozumi clan. But, uh, but yeah. So we got Kurozumi Semimaru and Kurozumi Higarashi. So we finally know the name of the old granny with the money, money, nobi. They might even be, I don't know, you know, they like, gotta be related to Orochi somehow, but they might be like, uh, I don't know, maybe, not his grandparents, cause, or, cause his grandfather committed seppuku, so, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, they, they, they gotta be related to him, though. So, yeah, here's, uh, Odin says, you're an ability user? Yes, but they call us magicians in this country. <laughs> oh, now Orochi's getting his cool back. <laughs> Odin. Using force and anger to solve problems. The other villages, Daimyo, tried that as well. Nobody can kill me. And Orochi, Odin's. I keep confusing. <laughs> For some reason, this chapter, I keep saying Orochi when I'm trying to say Odin. But, yeah, Odin is looking pissed. And, uh, so we get an exterior shot of the flower capital. Did you see? Lord Odin dashed towards the palace. The legitimate heir of the Kozuki clan has returned. Wonderful! We will have a new shogun. He will definitely take care of Orochi and Kaido too, and of Kaido too. So yeah, the other people are all rejoicing. Lord Odin! Lord Odin! This is chanting his name. I don't know the reason, but apparently my father appointed you as proxy shogun. Oh, I'm sorry. Clearly, that's Odin talking, not Orochi. I don't know the reason, but apparently my father appointed you as a proxy shogun. Until the day I would return. So, re so return the title of shogun at once. It wasn't my goal to become, a fam to become famous or anything. But under my rule, Wano will be in a much better state. <laughs> I will never do that. In fact, you don't have the authority of a shogun. And the old lady in the background laughing. Kill, kill. Uh, so she turns. Oh, damn, that's creepy. She turns into a uh, Marichi. Uh, oh my God, I can do it. She turns into Odin's father. Oh, there you are, Odin. The father? That that would be creepy. <laughs> like your father is dead, and then like your enemies like transform into him and start like mind tripping you. Why are you alive? And she, oh, he, he turns back to the old lady. Kill, 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 kill. Yes, that's pretty evil. All these, uh, all these fools, uh, starting uh, with the daimyo, they all fell for this old hag's lies. That's me. <laughs> she, she's pretty proud of herself. By disguising herself with the power of the clone clone fruit, she managed to fool the entire country and enabled me to take on the position of Shogun. So, okay, there's a confirmation that Orochi does know. I mean, it was implied that he knew exactly what Delphrys were, but here's the confirmation that he knows what they are. Well, I guess he knew a smile for so I said, yeah, we probably knew that he knew that already. But he never, he never really referenced Delphrys before. I mean, the people of Wano don't really know what Delphrys actually are. In other words, I'm under no obligation to give you to give the title to you. And who cares what the real Sukiyaki thought? You bastard! What did you do to my father? Did he really die from a terminal illness? Okay, so we get to find out what happened to Sukiyaki. So, that day a crowd formed in front of, of the palace to celebrate the return of the Kozuki clan. When suddenly two poison arrows were shot into the crowd from an unknown direction. So you see the crowd cheering, Lord Odin, yeah. 
The victims collapsed, and after violent vomiting, blood, uh, vomiting blood, uh, they lost their lives. Kya, a medic, quick! Somebody got shot. Is this so? It's like a flashback. Well, it's hard to tell because we're in a flashback. But I think this might be referencing what happened to Kiyaki. So we see some guy dying with his like bandage over his eyes. Uh, I see a dragon. The people hastily took shelter in their homes. We see Dragon Kaido flying over the the cat over the palace, with look, the, which looks really cool. We see the storm clouds above, and in the cloudy sky over the capital, they saw a giant dragon. He had a unique childhood, but became Daimyo Curry. He headed out to sea and met the best pirates in the world. So we see young, sexy Shinobu kind of hiding and getting some... Oh, I guess she's, she's watching this right now. She's watching this conversation between Odin and Orochi. After returning to his country, he was still strong. Kozuki Odin, who knew... No enemy of his caliber. He should have become the savior of the of his people who suffered the oppressive forces of an evil power. However, <laughs> oh, I got a double page here. Odin acted a fool <laughs> in the streets, like almost naked. A few hours later, Kazuki Odin presented himself naked in, the, in front of Orochi's residence. Make it a fool out of himself, so this is clearly the old lady. <laughs> so he's like dancing. <laughs> and everyone's just like, what? Orochi's underlings and the beast pirates laughed. Uh, this is the big man going this is the big man going home. After acting like a clown for some pieces of gold. So yeah, people <laughs> he's like dancing, people just giving him money like he's a street performer. <laughs> Roachie's just cracking up. Wait a minute. The old lady's right there, though. So how are they... I guess that's not... I guess that really is Odin. The return of Kozuki Odin, the legitimate heir of Wano, was the last ray of hope for the country. But the country was betrayed, and the desperation of the people turned into anger. What is he doing? Kozuki Odin, the idiot lord of curry... So like so the kids are like jumping rope and like singing. <laughs> oh, we see Orochi turn transforming. Oh, it looks like I guess that's Orochi and Kaido, like in their dragon form and their snake form, respectively. It's like they're they're both their fa their dragon reptilian faces are like right in front of Odin. He's like scared, but I guess this is clearly like some like lies or like a story or something. Cause like uh, so this is, yeah it's like a song. Kazuki Odin, the idiot lord of curry, fell on his butt in front of a snake. Don't laugh at his jokes. Whoopsie. So I guess maybe Odin's singing this. I don't know. But yeah, cause he's like dancing, and singing, acting like a fool. <laughs> Once a week, Odin showed up at the capital. It's him again. <laughs> he's just dancing naked again. Acting like a fool in front of the palace. Trying to make a living. No matter if it rained, storm. Oh, sorry. Just that song. No matter if it rained, stormed, or snowed. So this is weird. Lord Odin, please. Every week I get paid for <laughs> dancing naked and that is my business. <laughs> so time is passing. He's getting some stubble on his face. Like like five o'clock shadow or something. So um, there's uh, the the red the nine red scabbards are just like begging him. Like, don't lie to us. What did you say to Orochi? Why are you acting like this? Even the people of Curry who have always believed in you can't can't take this any longer. The rumors about the events in the capital eventually reach Curry. It's the idiot lord. <laughs> the kids just disrespecting Odin. He's just, hey, stop acting like him. Like the disappointment he is. So that's a mother scolding her child who acting like Odin. And you here sees two rough looking dudes. Instead of bowing to Orochi, you should have committed seppuku like a warrior. 
a year later, in 24 years from now, uh, or 20 years back, I guess. That's, it says 20 years from 24 years from now, but whatever. Um, Odin, who had received a foreign newspaper from Orochi, ran across the beach crying like a fool. But his cries were interrupted by laughter. <laughs> Following the execution of the pirate king. Oh, did they... Wait. I was going to say, did they feed Orochi like a smile fruit or something? But no, you see him... He's not smiling in this one panel where the, the diary scavenger are talking to him, so I don't know. Uh, following the execution of the Pirate King Gold Roger, many people set out to sea searching for the immense treasure he left behind. Say so yeah, Odin's... Oh, okay, he's, he's, he's smiling. He's laughing because of the One Piece. The One Piece! Uh, and thus the world entered the golden age of piracy. So yeah, he's crying and laughing at the same time, reading the newspaper. Roger, you really, you're really incredible. What an incredible life you lived. So yeah. Oh, oh, we see uh, Moria. Oh, I see young Moria, Moria and Kaido. Are we gonna see? The, the the battle between Moria and Kaido, like when Kaido beat the shit up and killed his entire crew. Two years after Odin's return, a fight broke out in Ringo uh, between the Gecko Pirates and the Beast Pirates. So you see cool, young-looking Moria with brick bats flying around him. Oh yeah, and Moria is really tall. As as we know, Moria is like super tall, so he's like he's like face to face with Kaido. They're both like twenty six feet tall or something like that. So that's that's interesting. So more Kaido, <laughs> Moria's getting all uppity <laughs> with Kaido. At the same time, the grave of the sword god Ryuma was robbed. Okay, so yeah, that was because we all know. Moria and Hogback were there in Wano to steal Ryuma's corpse, and, you know, so we, they can make a zombie with him. And uh, so yeah, so we so I'm glad, I'm glad we're going to see this in this flashback, or at least reference it. But even then, Odin continued to dance, and the only people who would still speak to him were his family. And are you going to leave me? Are you joking? That's not funny. So yeah, he still got his, his uh, wife and kids. His retainers. Lord Odin, we would like to attend your dancing show every week. Kappa pa. <laughs> okay, they're gonna dance with him. We don't want to miss it. So yeah, he's got. He's really got some loyal followers and family. And here we see uh, Yasu uh, and the and the few allies he had left. Idiot Lord, still far from uh, still far too nice of a nickname for him. Oi, you can't see the boss, idiot Lord. It's like somebody, so we've got two people keeping Odin out from seeing Yasu or somebody. So you see, like this big guy who's kind of tough looking, and this little lady like hitting him over the head with a fan. Idiot. <laughs> now come inside and have a cup of tea. Hyo-san, Odin has arrived. Okay, we'll see old man Hyo. This Orochi has no manners. I will never be in his service. S still, be careful, Hyo-san. Odin-chan, your dancing is steadily improving, you know. Oh, stop it, Okami-san. So, yeah, with this lady. And maybe this is, uh, is this Hyo's wife? Okami-san? Okay, well, that's cool. She got, she looks like, uh, she reminds me of that, that Yakuza lady. The Yakuza leader of, uh, Ringo. She has, like, those, like, I don't know, she kind of looks like her a little bit, like, older. Um, three years after Odin's return to Wano. The idiot lord is back! Whoops! Ta-da! Here's the snow! He's, he's just still doing his naked dancing. Uh, four years after Odin's return to Wano, nothing had changed in the country. You're embarrassing Odin. Oh, you're embarrassing Odin. 
But in the fifth year, Shogun Orochi began to act in Curry. So he got his, Orochi's on his palanquin, some cool looking fire maned horses. Uh, it's Shogun Orochi. The Shogun has arrived in Curry. He's got the, he's got uh, the old lady and the old man next to him. I'd like to build multiple factories in Curry. And I'm expecting your cooperation, Odin. Odin's like bowing to him. First, I'd like to ask you. First, I'd like to ask you, Shogun. What about the boat? And what about Kaido? Damn, Orochi's got his foot in Odin's face. He's just like smiling, just like grinning and bearing it. Eh? What are you talking about? And Odin's eyes get all intense. I told you I wanted to transform Wado into a. Uh, I told you I want to transform Wado into a gigantic weapon factory. And you know Hyogiro, you know Hyogiro, right? He didn't want to comply, so I left him in Kaido's hands. He'll probably be killed. Probably be killed. What? Oh, and the hag uh, who followed him? We shot her! <laughs> the woman of the capital's hero was quite impudent. Oh, damn. So I killed Hyo's wife. I assume it's his wife. He just shot her in cold blood. Odin is not looking very pleased with Orochi right now. The head of Wano's underworld, Hyogoro of the Flower, was captured in the capital, causing his men to revolt. You bastards! Give back our boss! The result? 16 of Hyogoro's men were killed, including his wife. Yeah, that's messed up. Uh, as expected by his family and retainers, the samurai who endured the pain for five years on his own finally couldn't bear it anymore. No longer able to control his emotions. A river of tears streamed down his face. Oh man, as you see a road code in, just breaking down in tears. He's got his, his vassals and his wife just looking sad like they don't know how to help him. This Kaido, I will make him pay. Finally, you've spoken them. The words we've been waiting for all this time. Now, witness what happened next. Uh, whoo, 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 I just scrolled down and I see the, oh man, I see, <laughs> I scrolled down and I see this. They're all lined up. <laughs> They're ready to go. The greatest turmoil caused by a weeping Odin. Eh, what? You see the people all looking. It's something you'll only witness once. At his side, the nine men he had picked up and made his samurai, illuminated by the crimson light of the setting sun. These men, hungry for a fight, seemed clad in red flames, as did the swords on their waists like reflections of their burning lives. Just, they're just strutting. The people of Wano later come to respectfully call these loyal men the Nine Red Scabbards. So we got, we got all of them. We got Ino Arashi, we got Denjiro, Kanjiro, Kikunojo, Kinamon, Kawamatsu the Kappa, Ashura Doji, Rise of the Mist, Nekomamushi and Lord Odin himself. Their eyes set on Kaido. Their path was also a sad story of the past. Their destination was the public execution of Kozuki Odin. Wait, what? Their destination was the public execution of Kozuki Odin. That's weird. Uh, until the legendary hour. An event passed down to the to future generations has come. Please do not avert your eyes. Oh, trust me. I will not avert my eyes. I will be ready for I'm ready for this fight. I don't care how long this flashback goes cuz we're ready. We're we're going to see a real battle. This is going to be the warm up battle before act 3. Or I guess this is act 3, but before the the raid on Onigashima, we're going to see their raid on Onigashima back in the past. 
which is going to be unfortunately the last battle of Odin's life, but it's still going to be pretty awesome. And we're going to see Kaido get a scar. And man, oh man, this chapter, this chapter, <laughs> this is a good chapter. That's it, by the way. Chapter 969. I still don't know the title, but it was a good chapter. Man, and I just, but yeah, well, I guess it's interesting to see Odin kind of broken down like that to see, I'm not sure why he's doing his little dance or whatever, kind of debasing himself. I mean, maybe it's something we didn't see, but I don't know, it's just, it kind of seems like a mystery, but I don't know, it just seems, yeah, some, somehow they broke him down, but yeah, so they, but it's very interesting to find out the names of the old lady and find out the old man playing the Biwa is important too. They're both in the Kurozumi clan and they both have devil fruits that we know <laughs> very well. So yeah, it's very interesting to see that. And uh, so maybe we'll see them fight too. I don't know, but yeah, we'll, I can't wait to see what happens to them. And because because we don't because obviously they're not around anymore. So they those two probably aren't gonna make it out of this. But, uh, anyway, of course, obviously we know that Delfords pass on to Bartolomeo and Bone Clay. But, uh, but yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, it's crazy to find out, you know, their names. And I can't wait to see what happens next in this crazy flashback, in this crazy manga. But, that's my live reaction for Chapter 969 of One Piece. This is Pirate Style Jutsu. Subscribe, comment, like, do whatever you want. And if you're a big dude who's really tall and you can control shadows, you might not want to fuck with the dragon. That's just my advice. Signing out.